Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Cisco, and in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about high-ticket affiliate marketing versus low-ticket affiliate marketing and um, what my experience has been with both, right? So, first of all, let me just tell you a little bit about what is high-ticket affiliate marketing and um, what is low-ticket marketing, right? So, high-ticket affiliate marketing is basically when you're promoting products that have larger payouts. So, for example, you're promoting a course or... Um, yeah, some type of uh, product that that is actually that is uh, usually sold for like a thousand dollars or more, then that is considered high ticket marketing or affiliate marketing in this case we're talking about versus low ticket affiliate where you're promoting products like uh, what you would find on ClickBank, what you would find on Amazon, which are all pretty much low ticket products, right? These are products that most of them. Um, well, at least, you know, I, I know that on Amazon, you will find products that are more expensive than a hundred bucks. But what I'm saying is the commission is not really that much, right? So it's considered a low ticket product. Um, and, um, also on ClickBank, right? On ClickBank, ClickBank, uh, most products don't even pass a hundred bucks. I don't think. And, um, the commission is like 75% in some cases up to 75%, I believe. So what has my experience been so far in both, right? So high ticket affiliate marketing, I, this is actually something that I did about two years ago. And what happened was that, um, I, you know, I was here on the, on the internet, I was searching for how to make money online, all these different things. And I came across this, this YouTuber at the time, he was in a, he's an affiliate marketer still to this day. And I started to follow him. I started to follow him on Facebook. I, you know, I reached out to him because at the time he was just putting out his uh, high ticket affiliate marketing course. So I, I reached out to him. We talked or whatever. And he actually gave me access to the course completely for free. He didn't charge me one cent. And I learned a ton from his course. Um, I don't want to mention his name. But I, I mean, well, let me mention his name. Yeah, wait, I'm not saying anything. That's not true. His name is Zach Crawford, right? If you guys want to check him out, he does have a lot of valuable content. Um, he has a YouTube channel. I just don't know how recent his videos are. But um, yeah, I started out with his content and I learned a ton. I was actually focusing on Facebook organic marketing, which I'm starting up again uh, this time. And um, I started to connect with people on Facebook. I started to put out posts every every day almost on my own feed, on my own uh, profile, I mean. And I also started to join different groups, connecting with people. And it actually took me f uh, close to four months to get my first uh my very first commission, which was 500 bucks, because uh, the, at the time the course was selling for a thousand. I don't know how much it's going for now, but it was going for a thousand. So I actually, it actually took me uh, four months to get my first sale, my first commission. And believe it or not, it was from from um, from a guy that saw one of my posts on a on a Facebook group, and he reached out to me, and we went back and forth for a little bit, and I just pretty much just um you know, introduced him to, to the course and he, he took action, right? He, he purchased it and, you know, that's how I made my first ever big time commission, I guess you would say. And um, so that was my experience. Um, now, what I think about it is, I think it's a little bit harder to get started with high ticket affiliate marketing because, you know, when you look at it, if you're just starting out, if you're just putting out content like I am, right, like free content, you know, YouTube content, Facebook content, People are just warming up to you. You know, people, obviously, they're not going to know who you are from the get unless you have, a, you know, thousands of friends, then maybe. But if if you don't, if you're like me, which, you know, I don't have a lot of people on Facebook or at least not a lot of people that are into this type of stuff. So it, it took me quite a while, right, to like build up to that moment where somebody would see my content and, and say, well, this guy seems trustworthy. Let's see what he's, you know, what he's promoting, what he's um, what he's all about. And gave me a chance, right? So I think that the safer route might be to just go for low ticket products when you're just starting out. Because, you know, if you think about it, somebody that pay, pays 100 bucks, 50 bucks, 20 bucks, you know, that's more of an impulse buy. You know, they're not really like, yeah, obviously nobody's looking to get scammed. Nobody's going to be spending 100 bucks, 50 bucks on something they might be a little bit, you know, uh, they, they might have some doubts about. But that's where you come in, right? That's where you're you're putting yourself out there every day, and um, you know you're building up that uh, no like and trust factor with people, right? So I think for me it's easier to just, and I feel more comfortable, you know, being able to talk to somebody about 
a low ticket product as opposed to higher ticket products, right? That might, I might add that, you know, uh, somewhere in, in the near future, I might be adding a high ticket product. I won't say no. Um, but in the, in the meantime, yeah, low ticket for me all the way. And um, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk to you guys about. That's the story that I wanted to share with you guys real quick. Um, I hope you get some value from this. I am going to be leaving a link in the description. It's a link to the product that, um, that I'm currently a part of, that I'm uh, learning all this stuff from. And um, yeah, it's an affiliate link. If you, if you want to check it out, if you want to join the, the, if you want to become a member of that product and learn all this stuff for yourself, you know, how to start your YouTube channel, how to start on Facebook, how to run ads, if that's what, that, that's your thing, then by all means, check it out. You know, I'm, I'm getting a ton of uh, knowledge from this. And, I'm, you know, obviously the most important thing is, you know, doing something with that knowledge, right? And that's the great thing about this. You know, you have a community of people that, that are, you know, 100% behind you, you know, answering questions and motivating you, you know, to, to, to get to that level, right? So that's what I wanted to tell you guys. If you did get some value from this, make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. Hit that notification bell icon so you get notified anytime I drop a new video. And, you know, leave, leave in the comments. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you've tried either one. What, you know, which one are you more inclined for? You know, high ticket or low ticket or neither one or, you, you know, you're doing something different. I would love to hear what you have to say. I would love to hear any type of feedback that you might have. With that said, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.